We have Deborah Watts, the cousin of Emmett Till and the co-founder of the Emmett Till Legacy Foundation. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Chris. It's such an honor and a privilege to be here, and congratulations on your new show. I appreciate it, and the reason we wanted to do it is to tell stories like this, to remind, or as I like to believe about this, as my mother said, you never stop learning about why Emmett Till's murder matters. What is the lesson for people today? The lesson for people today, as we often say, is that it's important to connect the past to the present and the future. We are not that far away from 67 years ago where our grandparents, great grandparents and others can remember what happened with Emmett. And so if we want the same kind of ugly past, then we will be subject to repeat it if we don't know what happened back then. So I think the lesson too is that let's figure out how we can turn things around in this country so that we don't have more Emmets repeated as we currently have uh, in this country with Ahmaud Arbery, with Trayvon Martin and many others, so many others, uh, Breonna Taylor and others. So I think that that's the lesson is what do we need to do to make sure that systemic racism is not part of the fabric and the DNA of America, which it is, but what are the things we can do in every capacity where we are in demographic to, to affect change? Now, Whoopi was very strong on one point that I believe she shares with you. Uh, correct me if not, but uh, please explain. That Carolyn Bryant, the woman involved, still alive. Uh, it was important to Whoopi, and she says it was important to you, that justice still be served, that you don't believe that woman's uh, story, uh, that there was a warrant that should have been presented that wasn't and you believe that there should be a day in court now involving Carolyn Bryant, the woman involved in the situation all back then. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We were a part of a team including one of the producers, Keith Beauchamp, myself, my daughter, Terry Watts and Kali Rashid who actually found the warrant along with one of our ambassadors, Melissa Ernest. We knew that this warrant was outstanding and we also knew that in the state of Mississippi uh, warrants don't expire and so we knew that this was one last attempt and an opportunity to bring justice and accountability to Emmett. Carolyn Bryant Donham is the last living known accomplice in the kidnapping and murder of Emmett Lewis Till and that warrant needs to be served. Right now that has been elusive, that's been something that the state of Mississippi has not uh, shown that they want to take advantage of this opportunity and take the responsibility to do. We just want justice served and this is without hate, malice or vengeance. We believe that Carolyn Bryant should not be above the law and like anyone else, this is a 67-year-old case, a 67-year-old warrant that was never served. It's simple. Just serve the warrant. The sheriff uh, in uh, LaFleur County, along with Dwayne Richardson, who's the DA, they have a responsibility and they need to carry that forward. Would you and that want... means that Carolyn Bryant will be brought to justice. Okay, what does that mean, yes. brought to justice? Sorry to cut you off, Deborah, but the, would you want to see Bryant prosecuted? Would you want to see Bryant um, incarcerated regardless of her age? Uh, absolutely. There is, uh, without, as I said before, without hate or malice or vengeance, this is a, a case of a 14-year-old child that was kidnapped, bludgeoned, thrown into the Tallahatchie River with a 75-pound cotton gin fan tied around his neck with barbed wire. That's horrific. That is a pain and grief that his mother carried for 47 years. His mother wanted justice. We're only doing the very same thing that Mamie Till Mobley, Mamie Bradley, what she started in 1955, were carrying out her wishes. And her wishes were that all of those that were involved in Emmett Till's kidnapping and murder would be prosecuted. And we are not any different than any other family that would want justice and accountability. A quick question. What do you think would be different if it happened today? I think it would be different because we have laws in place right now. We have the anti-lynching law. We have hate crime, crime laws that are in uh, states across our country. 
I also believe that people understand how important it is to bring justice. Our young people are counting on us to make sure we don't repeat the ugly parts of our past history. And so I truly believe that with the laws that are in place, we can utilize those laws to work for us. I also believe the consciousness in America has been raised. I don't believe that racism is over. I don't believe it's, it's gone or has been erased. But I, be, I truly believe that those that want um, to right the wrongs, that those that believe in humanity, that they would want the same thing that we want, and that's justice and accountability. And I believe that the uh, courage of the DA, Dwayne Richardson, along with Ricky Banks, they need to understand that in Mississippi, there are those that I believe want the same thing that we want, and that's different from 1955. Mm -hmm. There's uh, uh, African Americans that serve in uh, various capacities in, in public office, mm -hmm. uh, in judicial assignments as well, and Dwayne Richardson has an, an opportunity to be a hero at this point, and we are encouraging him to do the right thing. Deborah Watts, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you sharing your family and putting this film out there so we never forget and that we can remember uh, that the struggle is still very much real. Thank you very much for joining me. Sorry about yes. the technical difficulty. Good luck uh, with the movie, and I look forward to speaking to you again. Thank you so much. All right, Deborah Watts. If you want to hear what Whoopi had said, Whoopi also believed that this woman uh, should have a day in court. Um, my podcast, Chris Cuomo Project. Uh, Dusty will put something up on the screen at some point. You can just click right on it and you can get to it. You can watch it. It's free.